Hey guys, Alex here, and today we're going to look at erasing an M1 MacBook Air. Now because this is Apple Silicon, it's going to be the same as the M1 MacBook Pro, and it is a bit different to the previous Intel-based Macs. So let's get started. Now of course, before you do any resetting, make sure that any files you might require are fully backed up. Personally, I've got a top, both a Time Machine backup, and I have most of my stuff on iCloud Drive, so I should be all good. That's just a good thing to start with. Next, I've got the computer plugged in with power. It's actually not essential, but I do recommend it just to make sure the computer's not gonna die in the middle of that reset. All right, so what we're going to do is shut down the computer while it's all plugged in and on. All right, so now that it's all shut down and switched off, Let's start the resetting. Now what we're going to do as compared to a lot of those shortcuts that we had to use on previous Macs, like going into recovery mode and internet recovery, it's a lot more similar to iOS devices, being that it's Apple Silicon now. So all we're going to do is click the power button or the touch ID button in the case of this MacBook Air, and we're going to hold it down and just keep holding it down and you'll see what comes up on the screen. So I'm gonna do that now. So you can see it says continue holding for startup options on the display. Loading startup options. There we go. So now we are in to the startup options. So we're gonna go into options. And then it goes into macOS recovery. Fantastic. So if you've got a few user accounts set up, it is probably going to ask you to verify that account. All right. Now, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into disk utility. Macintosh HD, into Arrays. Apple File System. So that Arrays is done. Now I'm gonna come back into here, reinstall Mac OS Big Sur. Continue. And there we go. That is now erasing my Mac. And that's how you erase the Mac on the M1. And it should restore. Now, if that has helped, please let me know in the comments below and like and subscribe for more content. If you have experienced another error saying failed to personalize, please click the link in the description or the link above to the next video and I'll show you how to fix that issue. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.